Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, 3D Boxing Podcast is back with another edition of Quick Hits. we got a fun one for you today. We're going to get into uh, Fury and White. Uh, again, guys, I'm sorry. I've been out about two weeks. I've not been feeling good, but I'm back. I'm going to try to do a show every day again. Uh, keep you guys updated on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Uh, but let's get into today's show. Uh, big news today. Uh, Fury and Dillian White are... Um, Going having purse bids extended to January 18th. Um, yep, uh, January 18th, um, to uh, reach an agreement. Um, which obviously I don't think they're gonna reach. Uh, before we get into all that, please share, like, and subscribe. Uh, share 3D boxing on all forms of social media. Um, quick, uh, quick hits comes at you every day, eight, 10 minutes a day to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news. Remember, and I know I've not been on for almost two weeks, I've been very out of it, busy, sick, everything. Uh, but we're back and we're gonna bring it to you every day. Uh, please also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, as well on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to autism research and recovery. Get my hair out of my face. All right, guys, let's get into the show. All right, so th this Fury White fight looks like it's going to happen. It's going to happen because they can do it in the UK. Both guys are from the UK, um, and it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Uh, the only issue is that there is no guy in the history of heavyweight boxing who is more deserving and more long-suffering for a title shot than Dillian White. On the other hand, there is no one in the history of boxing that I'm aware of who um, is less eager to defend his title. Right? It, Fury beat Klitschko back in November of 2015. That's over six years ago, okay? Um, he, he had all of his belts stripped over 2016 and 2017, and actually the ring took his last belt over in 2018. Okay, so let's say that was two years. He had some form of a belt. It's actually a little more than two years, but let's just say it was two years. Now he's had a WBC belt for two more years, right? February makes two years since he beat Wilder and won the belt. Uh, that's four years that Wilder has had some heavyweight strap, not the lineal belt, the actual an actual heavyweight strap, whether it be the WBC, the WBA, the IBF, whatever, um, or the ring, whatever. Four years he's had a belt. He's defended it one time. I've never seen that. Now, I know COVID, this, that, and the third. He's defended it one time in four years. Uh, and and it, it's just it's ironic because no one wants to fight Dillian White. Dillian White should have had a world title shot years ago, at least two years ago, three years ago. He's earned himself a world title shot. I mean, he's beaten every and – and he did lose to Bebekin. And, you know, and that did not help his cause for sure. Um, but, um, uh, even after he had a title shot before he lost it and now he's back on the track. Um, he's got, a, a, you know, a, a series of good wins. Um, it, it looks like this might happen, uh, but it, it, with, with Fury, you, you just don't know, right? Um, I, I don't know if they're pushing back these purse bids till January 18th because it legitimately looks like they have something. Maybe they're going to reach an agreement. Maybe Dillian White will take some step aside money. Although I can't see that. I can't see how much money you'd have to pay White for him to step aside and pass up on a world title shot. Uh, Dillian White's now 34 years old. He still hasn't had a title shot, right? Uh, <clears throat> you just look at some of the names he's beaten. Yo, um, Chisora, uh, Hellenius, Lucas Brown. Joseph Parker, Chizora again, um, Wack and, and Paveca. I mean, he's got a string of names here, right? Since the Joshua lost back in 2015, that's over six years ago he lost to Joshua. Um, and now he's made a run, and he deserves a title shot. I can't see him passing it up. That seems like the least possible scenario. Um, I don't know if Fury wants more time to negotiate, push the fight out. 
Maybe he wants to fight Usyk. I don't see Fury wanting to fight Usyk because that's a real tough fight. I don't think the fight that Fury can win. You know, I think Usyk is the number one heavyweight in the world. Um, I, I don't expect Fury Usyk. I don't expect Fury to fight more than once this year or any year moving forward. I think maybe Fury fights three, four more times in his career and it's over. I don't know if we'll get a Joshua fight. Uh, I don't know if we'll get an Usyk fight. I do think we will get the Stillian White fight later in this year. Uh, probably April, May, something like that, I, I would think. Um, and that'll be it. You know, Fury uh, doesn't fight more than one chance. I do think Fury will win. Um, look, a couple thoughts about Fury. Fury at 6'9", 250 was a unicorn. He was sliding his feet. He could move. He could box. Like, you know, he had exceptional skill. And a guy at 6'9", with that kind of reach um, at 250, is just almost impossible to beat. At 270, he's too big for his own good. He, If you go back, you watch the second Wilder fight, he's not lying on his feet. He's not moving up. He's wearing down. He's leaning on Wilder. He's roughing him up on the inside. He's being the bigger man in there. You know, the heavier man in there. And that's fine. But it, it, to say that Fury's going to go out there and box like a middleweight, like we used to say, he was 6'9", 250 pounds, but he's not. He fights differently now. Unless he gets back down to 250, which I look. I don't know what the plan is for Fury. He's not the fighter he was that beat Wild, uh, that, that fought Wild to a draw in the first fight. He's not the same guy that beat Klitschko. He's not that fighter anymore. He's an extra 20 pounds bigger. And he uses that 20 pounds. To he was not moving around the ring. He wasn't lying on his toes. He wasn't circling in, 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 the, in, the, in the third Wild fight. He was leaning on him. He's wearing him down, which is fine. But it's not the same wild. It's not the same fear that we're accustomed to. He does get clipped, and I'm going to say the same thing I said about. Uh, and you can go back. You listen to Mixed Combat Radio. You can hear I said I, I'm going to pick uh, White to beat Povetkin in the first fight. But White can definitely get clipped. He's sloppy defensively. He gets hit, and Povetkin has enough power. Fury obviously is a good defensive fighter, but he gets lazy. He gets lazy, and he gets tagged, and he gets caught. Um, that can certainly happen this week. Uh, I mean, in this fight with White, he get he got clipped by Steve Cunningham. He's been dropped by Wilder four times. Uh, he's almost got he got almost stopped by Otto Bailene. Otto Bailene rocked him, had him in a ton of trouble. Um, so to say that White can't clip him is a, is a bridge too far. White could win this fight, but that is going to be an unforced error, I would think. I think it's one of those things where Fury's napping and White lands at the right time, but it can happen because. When you're lazy and you're a little ADHD in there, you fall asleep in there, you can get clipped. And obviously, White's got a ton of power. You know, outside of Wilder, I don't think anyone in the heavyweight division hits any harder than Dillian White. So that's a real fight. Uh, White's a big dude with big power who's beaten a lot of good fighters. Again, I'm going to pick Fury. I'm going to pick Fury. I'm just putting it out there. Fury getting iced. Not out of the question. Not out of the question at all. But let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please share, like, and subscribe. Uh, share on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Quick hits today every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Um, boom, boom, boom. They still didn't put my boy Ivan Calderon in the hole. And please subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Uh, all proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.